Welcome to the vignette Deciding on a Topic. The process of deciding on a topic is much like deciding on a research question for an experiment. It's best to start at the highest level and then work your way down. For example, at the highest level, you are probably asking a very broad question. For example, how do babies learn language? This question is of course far too broad to do a single meta-analysis on, but maybe the kind of thing you say when meeting someone for the first time who doesn't work in your field. On a medium level, you may have a more specific question like, how do babies segment words? This is a much more manageable question for a meta-analysis, as you have significantly reduced the scope compared to your high-level question, but it's still pretty broad. Finally, if you were to run a specific experiment, you need a question on a very low level, something like, how do babies segment words of different stress patterns? This is specific enough that you can even get a sense of the stimuli in the experiments just from the question. Now, when preparing a meta-analysis topic, the best level is actually this middle level, as it is narrow enough to be on a specific topic, but broad enough to still have a lot of previous work on it. There are a few more questions you should ask yourself about your chosen topic before studying your meta-analysis, such as, is there a largely consistent dependent variable across all or most papers you'll include in your meta-analysis? You'll need to have a consistent dependent variable to estimate your effect sizes for the meta-analysis. This could be something like looking time, accuracy or reaction time. It will depend on your meta-analysis, but there should be a general consistent effect being measured. It's okay if there is some variation across studies in the exact measure, but they should be broadly comparable. Also important, is there a homogeneous population if testing humans? Homogeneous can mean many things age, language, typical versus atypical. You may run a meta-analysis where you accept many different levels for some of the variables and see how it affects results. For example, seeing if effects are consistent across ages. There should be some unifying element in your studies though, so you can have one broad result of your meta-analysis. And finally, are there enough studies on my topic for my purpose? This is largely a pragmatic choice. You may have found a topic that you're really excited about and that has conflicting results, but if the topic is so new you only have five studies and you want to run an analysis with a lot of moderators, it probably isn't enough to warrant a meta-analysis just yet. However, if you want to do a very simple quantitative comparison, as few as two studies could be okay. Depending on your topic, there will be other questions you need to consider, but use these as a first step guide. Also, if you think about these things now and take note, it will make coding your papers a lot easier later, as you'll have some sense of your variables ready ahead of time. If you've done all this, congratulations! You now have a meta-analysis topic.